who I am today mm. is because in 1975 I became the CEO chairman. Mm. I believe that's the biggest turning point of my life. Yeah. In 1975. In 1975. Yes, yeah, that's when I became the CEO chairman. And you spoke for the first time in 1977. <laughs> I remember you saying that. Uh, now that's after 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 I finished after campus. Finished campus. I now went to. I was. I became. I started preaching. In, in a, the first time I was invited by a campus. Yeah. You are correct. I can see you can be. I've been listening. <laughs> yes, but I was the CEO chairman in 75. Yeah. Why do you think people invited me so quickly? Yeah. It's because of being the CEO chairman. Yeah. Because of I had now opportunity. No, because others may even be better preachers, but because they were not CEO chairman, they never got opportunity to be heard. Yeah. Now, because people, people for that period, 75, 76, are hearing me, yeah. what happens? They, Whoever became a teacher at that time, of course, I was teach, teaching in teaching. There was education in University of Nairobi. Yeah. It did not. They are not going to Kikuyu. Yeah. They just said. Brother Nganga, yeah. I'm now the CU patron. Can you come to our school? Come to our school and yeah. speak. Then the CU, the people I had head over, yeah. said, we, need, we are looking for a speaker in September. And remember, I've just left in June. Yeah. <laughs> Please come and speak. Please come and speak. Yeah. And it started that time in 1977. Yeah. And it has never dried up. The initial period, I kept imagining, I better be available. When I'm old, I will not. They not invite me. Young people not agree to invite an old man. In fact, in our time, the old man of one of our speakers was an old man was Mpaye, Reverend Mpaye. Mm. He was the general secretary of Bible Society. His son was with us. So he himself must have been 45, 50 or thereabout. Because yeah. his son was with us now as a, as a student. Yeah. Whenever I invited him, we had to ring him many times to remind him. Because mm. he was inviting a very old person. Yeah. At 45, at, at 45 50. 50. Yes. And now in your 60s. So in my mind, I knew, yeah. hey, in my 30s, <laughs> I had better be totally available. Yeah. By the time I'm 40, 40 something, yeah. I'll stop getting these invitations. Yeah. So to my surprise, I'll be 70 next year. And, and I still have invitations. You have invitations? <laughs> for, I'm sure you have invitations for next year. <laughs> so <laughs> the issue is, yeah. and, but I'm still tying it up. Mm. To 1975. To 1975. Yeah. Then the Lord surprised me because I was in shock. I was in shock because I did not expect to become chairman. There were, according to me, there were many people gifted yeah. and better than me and with better backgrounds. I'm a village boy from Jabini. Yeah. So I thought there are people who, who, who more qualify. So when my, my, the, the, the electoral committee led by Bishop Adoyo now, he was then... Uh, he, he was a CEO chair before you. Yes, he was his one who handed over to me. Yeah. Say that they have met and they feel the Lord is leading them to Brother, to, to Brother Nganga. I, then, then before I could say no, mm. he said, we don't want to know your answer. Mm. Pray about it. I'll come back next week. You tell me what the Lord has said. Yeah. That changed the ball. Now he's not interested in my opinion. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. So, <laughs> so I had to pray. And I did, not, I, I did not hear the Lord telling me not, not, not to accept, so I couldn't tell him. Yeah. He has said no. Yeah. That's how I became CEO chairman. But I believe that was a turning point. For your engagement and involvement. For the rest of my life. Ministry. For the rest of my for life. leadership. It, yeah, because that leadership opportunity, mm -hmm. of course I'm trying to analyze. I may not be sure what the Lord had in mind. But they brought three things. Number one, it taught me not, not, not to be... How do we do it? Belittle days of small beginnings. Mm. You know, if you are, don't qualify, you're always giving excuses. Now, the fact that the Lord can allow such village boy to become chief I mean, you know that time it was the only university in Kenya. Yeah. So, you knew whatever you are doing, within time, mm. it will be everywhere. Yeah. You know, you would be, you'd be a student today, and, in, and two, two months later, you are the DO. You are the commissioner. <laughs> Even me, I left in June, I'm a student, I'm doing my final exams. Yeah. By, by August, I had a letter being appointed a district cooperative officer. Yeah. So it, it, was, it, it used to be very quick to you become a leader. But the, this gave me opportunity to know God, if God gives you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, so it has removed my, my thinking that my background doesn't qualify me. The second thing it did is I was able to handle problems. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I now knew whatever problems are there, God can help me sort them out. Mm. 
So it meant and that, uh, that uh, the role of leadership is sorting out problems. And the CEO chairman of the only university in Kenya meant that we had many issues. We even appeared in the nation, uh, Southern Nation mm -hmm. headline, somebody analyzing how useless the Christian union is. And we had to decide how to react to the article, to the headline article. Yeah. And I still remember us meeting and saying the way, if you actually, these are, these are journalists who, are, who want to spell our name. Yeah. If you reply, they are the same ones to edit. They will still... They will say something that will even make us more foolish. Yeah one option. The other option is to say nothing. If you say nothing, the matter will not pick up. Yeah. So it will not continue. Only the people who read on that Sunday will catch it. Will catch it. And they may forget as soon as there is another headline, which yeah. is the next day. So we decided yeah. not to say anything. Yeah. Sure enough, the story died. Yeah. Those are the kind of issues I was saying. And of course, we were students. Mm. Then that was the year we had, uh, in those days, university mission, you, could not, you did not invite local speakers. Mm. The one for 73, it was John Stott himself who came from London. Yeah. The one of 76, we invited Kivenjere from Uganda. It was always an international, Speaker. because these others are available during the CU meeting. meeting so. Yeah, so how can you invite for a... For <laughs> <laughs> once in a lifetime. Remember, mission comes only once. Yeah. In the, the university mission only comes once yeah. in the life of a student. It used to be once in three years. Or yes, yeah. because it's basically, it's supposed, you are supposed to have only one opportunity yeah in your lifetime as a student. Mm. So it will not come until the first years are out. out yeah. So, uh, but you imagine that we have to get Kivajira uh, to fly to Kenya. Mm. We have to look for where to book him to be sleeping for the whole week. Was there a Fungamano house then? It is just, he was among the first people to use it yeah. as a brand new, uh, as a brand new thing. Facility. A facility. Yeah. So those are the challenges yeah. Which later, as I became, I went to, I went to, I be, my first job was in development banking. Mm. I now was used to dealing with the issues. Yeah. So I'm still backing my statement. Mm. I don't know who I was, who I am, if the CEO had not come into my life. Yeah. Yes. And that was 1975 when you became yes. chair. Yes. Uh, Focus was just about three or so years old. You know, we need to correct that. Yeah. It is the name Focus that, was the that came in 73. Yeah. The work of the CEO, it used to be called, in fact, when I was at Alliance, mm. I used to see the see mag magazine, even when I was in A-level, I used to see the magazine, it's called PAFES, mm. Pan-African Fellowship oh. of Evangelical Students. And they even had a magazine. Mm. And uh, Kegitari was one of the traveling secretaries, mm. first. Mm. Then, uh, then the, there was Adodoaji, there was, the, the, before it even became called focus mm. the work was still going on mm. the only thing you have to remember is that it was only one university so you cannot be a traveling secretary of one university yeah. so when you became a traveling secretary you became a traveling secretary of many countries across africa yeah like now yeah. even focus was not focus kenya it was focus for eastern africa yeah. my first conference my first conference to attend because i did not attend the dodoma one dodoma was dodoma was 74 and I didn't attend. Mm. The first attend I attended was 75 in Mukono, Uganda. Mm. And now it's called, now I think now it's called Christian University. But at that time it was the Taka Theological College. Mm. That's, where we, that's where we went. Mm. People were coming from Zambia, Zimbabwe, mm. all that was focus. Yeah. Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, yeah. all of us were one focus. So the focus conference meant all the countries come together. Yeah. Focus meetings were international. Yeah. And that was now a fellowship of Christian Union yes. across the countries. Across the countries. And then around 1972, 73, then Focus Kenya. Yeah, Focus, Focus. Fo no, no, no. Focus Kenya is a very new thing. That's the point I'm trying to get to, okay, okay. to understand. <laughs> there was only one university. Yeah, in, in, all the way, even after I left university, it was still one university. Yeah. Kenyatta College became a constituent university of the University of Nairobi. So if, if Focus is for universities, yeah. you can see... It, it took a long time before you got Focus Kenya. Mm. Now I can tell you about Focus Kenya. Yeah. Focus Kenya was not made by a decision. I was still in leadership that time. Yeah. It was incidental. I don't want to say accidental. Mm. In 1976, Jomo Kenyatta and Idi Amin could not see eye to eye. Mm. 
Idi Amin decided that even Kenya belongs to Uganda mm. from Naivasha. That way. Jomo Kenya yeah. <laughs> said not an inch. Try. Yeah. There are demonstrations all over the country. Yeah. Remember in the meanwhile, they used to be operate like University of East Africa. Yeah. Although Nairobi has now become a university separate, we are still running together. Yeah. When I did my A level, you filled the university, you didn't know which you would go to. You could go to Makerere. You could end up in Makerere, Dar es Salaam, yeah. here. Yeah. Like for me now, I was, I was invited in, in, in Nairobi. Yeah. Rebecca was in Makerere. Yeah. So we were all together. Now in 1976, the differences between the presidents was big. But that was not a problem. In Uganda, people were not dying. They were just disappearing. Yeah. A student disappeared. I think she was called Chesire. Now, Jemo Kenya said, is, is enough, is enough. Mm. In 1976, I think that must have been June or, June, June, June or, or May, yeah. he ordered the Minister of Education. Not a single Kenyan student would be allowed back in Makerere. Yeah. It is his responsibility to look for places anywhere in the world the government will pay. Mm rather than going back to Diamin. Yeah. And that's how the University of East Africa Correct. relationship died. Yeah. And focus could not meet. Mm. We now could not have a focus conference because the Ugandans will not come. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's why, how yeah. focus Kenya started. Because yeah. now the next conferences mm. after 77, 78, 79, were now, U Uganda had to start its focus. Tanzania had to start there, yeah. they gave it a different name, and we will remain Focus, Focus Kenya. Kenya. So Focus Kenya was not a decision. Whatever started in 73 was not for Kenya. Yeah. It, it was, was for the, Eastern Africa. Yes. Wow. So that's, 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 that's it. Just like now, we had a, a graduate fellowship. Mm. By the time I'm in the university, you have something being called graduate fellowship. Mm. But then it was very snobbish. That's how we became associates. Associates of focus. Yeah. Yes, yeah. rather than graduates for very, very snobbish. Yeah. yeah. And now and now that is <laughs> <laughs> the associates fellowship is a it, integral part of, yes, yes. Of, the, of the ministry of focus. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember on a light note you saying that uh, it took a presidential degree. Now you know. Now you know the story. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Rebecca came. Rebecca came because of that story. Yeah. Yeah. So then you because he was one of the people, yeah. and because he was doing BCom, yeah. it was available in University of Nairobi. University of Nairobi. So she transferred. Yeah, but there are many who went to Canada, America, but for her she came to University of Nairobi, and now I met her. Forty? How many years now? More than forty. For, we've been, been my, forty. Now, because I, I met her seventy-six, yeah. so so we've been. We have been um, friends for more than 45 years, isn't it? Yeah. You are good in mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you have only been married for 42. For yeah. 42 years. Yeah. 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 This is our 43rd year yeah. in marriage. Um, yeah. Just before you move on, uh, that sort of focus, Kenya, it's very interesting. I have never known that. Yeah. So I'm also learning today that uh, <laughs> Kenya was added three years after. <laughs> Yes, we, Focus was there. Right, we say Focus it, was registered in 1973. Focus Kenya was registered in 1973. But it was basically operating for East Africa. For East Africa. Yes. So okay. who are the staff uh, at that time now when it began? Now, for, 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 for 1970, by the, by, yeah, I've told you, I can't remember the years, but of course you have heard of, uh, you have heard of David Gitari. Mm -hmm. David Gitari was a high school teacher in Vika when he was asked to become a traveling secretary, traveling all over, Parfes. Remember that time it's not called Focus, mm -hmm. it's Parfes. Then he does that, then he, he decides to move and now go to study divinity mm -hmm. in London. So he, he came out. Then you had Godfrey Osei Mensa, who was a chemical engineer working for Mobile, who is also called and becomes the traveling secretary of Parfes. Mm -hmm. Then you got Adodoaji, William Adodoaji, who actually married a Kenyan student from medical school yeah. he was he was the traveling now you, you understand that you, you said a similar story earlier yeah, <laughs> yeah. so Adodo Waji is the traveling secretary 72 73 74 and there's a, there's a student doing medicine in in, 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 in medical school yeah. and uh, finally they, they are married yeah now that time remember that that's now 70, 73 that's when Gechinga who graduated 74 
and as a teacher in Kiremara High School in Nyeri, mm. is also called back mm. in 75 yeah. and becomes traveling secretary. Okay. By that time, we had other, other, um, uh, other, a Norwegian lady who is also together with Gechinga. Yeah. Um, uh, I hope the name the name will come. It's mm. in the records in in focus. There are the two for, because you see, as a boy, yeah. a, a man looking after and and and, and, the, and the Norwegian lady. Yeah. Then, at that time, Mrs. Gechinga is the CEO patron at Alliance Girls. Mm. She is also called. By seventy six, we had now Gechinga. Adodwaji has gone, yeah. and Gechinga and uh, Mrs. Gechinga. Of course, he was not Mrs. Gechinga. Yeah. Uh, she was M. M. I have to remember what the, what the, what the maiden name was. Mm. Yeah, and that that's. I hope that has answered your question. Yeah. The staff those, those are the people that. Yeah. And Gechinga continued for many years, before many years before before. Secretary. Yeah, he was there. We used to call them traveling secretary. Then now we employ a few more people. Yeah. You can't call them travelers. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> One is called now General Secretary, the other one are, are traveling. Yeah. And then Geshiga finally moves to Baptist Church, yeah. where he stayed until retirement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I interacted with his name when I first interacted with Focus in 2016. Oh. And I saw on the plaque that he's the one who opened the office in Kasarani. Yes. But the office was not in Kasarani since 1970. No, by due, yeah. Kasarani is a miracle. Yeah. Because you see, we are meeting in Ufongamano. Ufongamano has been opened. Yeah. Where Ufongamano is, was a chaplaincy center. A wooden um, cottage. Yeah. We used to, when you hear 74, I mean the executive, that's where we were meeting every Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And, but our Sunday service of University of Nairobi were in St. Andrews. Yeah. The CU meetings were in Nairobi Chapel. But our committee Nairobi meeting. Chapel, which is now Mamlaka Hill Chapel. Yes. Yeah. That was where, that was our CU meeting place. Yeah. And also prayers, because there's an underground. Mm -hmm. So every early in the morning, I was, I was a prayer Bible study coordinator mm -hmm. in 74. Living in Holy 13. Uh, 13, so they used to pick my keys. <laughs> yeah. Everybody coming for prayer. So I used to be woken up early, because they would come and pick the key and go mm -hmm. underground, where you can pray loudly, nobody can hear. Yeah. Let me, let me get something. Yeah. The, the CU meetings were in uh, Nairobi Chapel. Yes. Which is Mamlaka Hill Chapel. Yeah. But you talked about the University of Nairobi services. Were in St. Andrews. So the, the CU never used to organize its own Sunday services then? It was the CU service. Yeah. The only thing is, it was hosted mm. by St. Andrews. Okay. The only hosting. Yeah. It was not a St. Andrews youth service. Yeah. It was the University of Nairobi service. service okay. And because the hall is bigger yeah. than Nairobi Chapel, yeah. and Nairobi Chapel could not take as many people. Yeah. And, and then Wanjao, Reverend Wanjao, yeah. who later became the moderator, was the pastor at uh, St. Andrews and one of the chaplains. Yeah. You know, we did not we don't have a chaplain. Yeah. We had chaplaincy. Yeah. That is uh, Professor Kenoti. Uh, somebody called David Barrett, who wrote the Church Art book. If you ever seen a book called, called the Church Art book, yeah. so written by Dr. Barrett, and um, the, and there are more. But that's that was the chaplaincy. It was a team of people who that was interested. The team, that team of people, is the one that got some aid, financial aid yeah. from the British, something, something, Christian aid, to buy the land where Ufugamano is. Yeah so that they can organize to be chaplains of the university. But then they don't have a building where people can meet. So that's why you approach Narbi Chapel to help with the CU and approach St. Andrews to help with the, with, with the university. But the St. Andrews Church had nothing to do with the service. To do with the service. We ran the service yeah. completely. And that's why well, you Kalonso Musioka were the ones organizing the Saturday service. Yeah. It was called the Worship Committee. Of the university now? Of the university. Okay. Then uh, Ufungamano is built. Then Ufungamano, mm -hmm. now the night, that is now what it is for a few years. Yeah. But then obviously they want a meeting place because all they have is a like where a committee can meet. Yeah. So they look for money, but now not alone. NCCK gets involved, the Catholic Secretariat gets involved. They are now looking for money, millions, yeah. to build a center. 
on that land, piece of land which they have now have. And finally, we got money from Germany, from various places. Now in 1975, and the construction now happened from 75 to 76. I happened to be, that's one of my last jobs as a chairman. Yeah. There's the first person to stand in Fogamano, yeah. rejoicing over the move from Nairobi Chapel to our own facility. And you told the people that uh, God has given you an opportunity to increase because now... Because you see, that one can take on 300. Yeah. We used to, people used to see it from the outside yeah. because of how full we are. Yeah. We came here and it can take 550. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was an open place. <laughs> and, I, and I told them, yeah. hey, you have a good memory. Yeah. And I told them, now you see, God is asking us to witness. Because yeah. so this, this, all these empty this seats yeah. have to be full. Mm. Anyway, that, that, that's the story behind that's the story behind it. Okay. And, and focus offices were in Fungamano. Now, yes. focus office. Uh, where John Gichinga was, yeah. when we were students. We used to go to the, to the tower, the bell, where the bell is of St. Andrews. Yeah. There, where, where you go, when you see the, where the, the bell is, yeah. there are several offices up. Oh, on that tower? On that tower. Yeah. St. Andrews Tower. One of them, one of the floors belonged to Focus. Okay. And that's where we used to go now for, when we are going to Focus office, yeah. that's where we went. That was St. Andrews. St. Andrews Church yeah. Tower. That even before Fungamano, because I know that Fungamano never existed, so it was not that they were refusing. Yeah. There was no Fungamano. No Fungamano. Yes. <laughs> you hear university, Fungamano has come as I'm finishing as in my third year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, but as soon as Fungamano came, mm. why would you to continue being there? Mm. Folk has got an office in, the, in Fungamano now. After all, that's why the building was built. Yeah. To also Chaplainzi. Yeah. And Folk has this part of the Chaplainzi work. Yeah. So it was given a, a place. The CEO also got an, I got an office there myself also, as a CEO chairman. In Ufugamano. In Ufugamano. Yeah. So the Focus had an office, uh, the CEO had an office, and then they involved a few more people. Yeah. The way Ufugamano is built, it was very well designed. Yeah. The, the, wing, the wing down is for making money to make the other wing free. Yeah. That means the CEO can use the office free of charge, it can use the the meeting room free of charge, but the money you are getting from the flats, because yeah. you know the other wing is for flats, yeah. should be paying for running this one. Sure Can you see how, how fantastic the chaplain's team uh, had yeah. designed it? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, over time, I hear people forgot that this thing was built for the students no, and started asking the students to pay money. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe it's because the politicians then now went to well, the, started uh, paying good money. Why should you give students? Money. But that was not the original intention. This is money given by Christians yeah. for facilitating chaplains' work in the University of Nairobi. He's supposed to help the students. The students. So, uh, do you remember when other CEOs started becoming part of the movement? No, that one happened almost immediately because what happened is between there was a kind of a relationship between KSF and Focus yeah. and Scripture Union. In fact, at that time, there was even discussions on whether all of the three can become one unit. Mm. You know, Scripture Union is looking after primary schools, KSF after high schools, Focus after universities. Mm. And it became universities and diploma colleges. Yeah. In other words, since you have only one university, they agreed with KSF. All that three-year colleges, those are the ones that were called diploma colleges, yeah. would be sponsored, would be helped by Focus. Okay. The two-year certificate colleges are KSF. KSF. So KSF was dealing with the high schools and certificate colleges and then the the the, the focus is universities and diploma, diploma colleges. colleges and that happened in the 1970s so so Egerton even those years yeah. we are talking about talk about 74 75 yes. Egerton was already being wood as, as I don't know when they actually registered but for, but focus was already going to Egerton Kenyatta Kenyatta then a college of a of a university all the, of course, there are not many. You can't count. You don't require your toes to count the diploma <laughs> colleges. I think the, I think one of them was cooperative college. If I'm not cooperative came much later. It came much later. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Much later, but it was. You are right. Diploma colleges mm. were in focus. Yeah. Certificate colleges were in KSF. And that's what now we call institutions of higher learning. Yes. All the universities are. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that is the story. The country. Yeah. That is the story. Okay. And you've been preaching. Do you have a count of how many universities you've gone to? I don't know because um, 
you, you know, they are, they are most of the things, of course, I was working for Shell. Yeah. I worked for Advent Bank, then I worked for Shell. So during the week, mm. I can only speak to the evening meetings. Because yeah. during the day, I'm, I'm, to, I'm there. So if you, if you look at, uh, there are 52 weeks in a year. There are very few weeks when I'm not speaking in a campus. Mm. Yeah. Very few weeks. If I don't speak in the middle of the week, I'll speak at the weekend. Mm. And those days, I hardly went to a church. In the early years, yeah. I hardly went to a church. I was, I was only from moving from, 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 and initially, so of course I was a bachelor. Yeah. Then my wife came along and we started going together. We got children and we still go, went together. In fact, this week I was speaking somewhere on, um, I was on a Zoom meeting this week. Yeah. And uh, Gavan Kenya, I don't know you know Gavan know Kenya. Gavan yeah. is the one who said how I went to preach in there when he was a student, a high school student. I went to preach in their camp. I think it was Chuka camp. Yeah. And, uh, and I was with my children and they were singing. Because once they joined, mm -hmm. they became the choir. I will mm -hmm. preach, my wife gives a testimony, <laughs> and, and my girls will be, will, will be the ones. <laughs> ones <laughs> that the picture, he yeah. says that the picture he got. Yeah. Hi, I wish, my, uh, I, wish my, uh, I came from such a family. Yeah. Now that's what he is saying. Yeah. So when he got married, his picture was tried to make something like a replica. And, and Galvan, because he spoke to when we were in campus, yeah, he did sing with his children. Exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the, the, the same, same way. So my and my children were enjoying because you go to a focus meeting mm. and they are all jumping in my children. Yeah. So when you tell my children to go to under school, it's not as attractive as, as going to the university. Or <laughs> yeah. College. So we had to make up our mind once they became under school going. Mm that we have to force them to go to church. To go to there. So that means we have to separate. You know, we have always, from the time we, we married, we are preaching together. Yeah. For a while, we had to stop preaching together. Mm. If my wife is invited somewhere, I'm the one left behind to go to Sunday school with yeah. children. Yeah. If I'm invited somewhere, she has remained behind. So for a few years, yeah. we could not go out preaching together. So that the children can have a consistent mm. Consistent Sunday school. Because yeah. you see, here we are talking the topics the students have given us. Mm. But in Sunday school, it's aimed at their age. Okay. And that's how we moved to Sitam Church. That's how we moved to NPC. Because they had a very good Sunday school. Mm. We, and they used to use a syllabus. Yeah. So, you know, many Sunday school just run yeah. Q you know, whichever way. But, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whichever yeah. story comes. <laughs> but the uh, very Road had, had a syllabus. And that's how our children, so we now had to stop going together. Mm. And, uh, but uh, to answer your question, most of my weeks I'm speaking in one yes. campus or another for the last 40 something years. So you've seen how the CU has metamorphosized. Yes, yes, I've watched it, I've watched it. The Fellowship of Christian Unions, reaching students, changing nations.